Hi, JK friends. Welcome to day number two. Today, you are going to sign in with the color green. So, go gather a green marker, a green colored pencil, or just a regular pencil, and sign in in your sign in book on line two. Don't forget to use one capital and the rest lowercase. If you forget how to make a letter, go ask mom or dad for help. Okay, pause the video and go do that first. Great, you're all signed in and ready for your day. So today we're gonna work on building some numbers and showing how much each number is worth, okay? You need a few things to do this activity. You need some sort of sticks. It can be craft sticks like Miss Jessica has. I'm gathering up all my colors so you can see. I have craft sticks. If you don't have craft sticks, you could use toothpicks. You could use pencils. You could use markers or crayons. You could even go outside and get some sticks out of the backyard. Whatever you have that is a straight line shape, go gather those. You also need something to count with. So, Miss Jessica is going to be using, oopsie, <laughs> did I hit my camera? I'm going to use these gold coins because today is St. Patrick's Day. So I'm going to use these gold coins to count. If you don't have gold coins, you may get beads, you may get buttons, you may get paper clips, beans, rocks, Cheerios. You find something that you can use to count with, okay? So pause the video, go get some sort of stick or something straight and something that you can count with, okay? And meet me right back here. Pause the video. Okay, friends, let's start with our supplies. Are you ready? First number I want you to build is the number one. Obviously, it is a straight line. So I'm going to use two craft sticks and I'm gonna make a straight line. That is how we make the number one. Now I'm gonna count out one object. So easy, right? One. Pause the video, it's your turn. Great, let's make the number two. It's kind of tricky, so I want you to watch me do it first and then we'll do one together. Number two, I'm gonna start with a straight line. I'm gonna come down, back, up, round two and I'm gonna count out two objects so easy one two ready to do one together let's do this one together it's kind of tricky ready put one up one straight down go back oopsie and around. Did you get it? Good job. Were you able to keep up? The video was going really fast, wasn't it? Miss Jessica's hands were moving super fast. You didn't have to do it that fast. You can always pause it when you get to a number that you need a little more time on, and then you can start it back up after you get that number. I did all the numbers to 10, but guess what, friends? You don't have to stop there if you don't want to. If you would like to continue building numbers and showing the quantity, you can continue doing numbers 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. You can keep working. Oh, friends, you did such a great job today. That is your lesson for today. Parents, if you would like to continue with the learning beyond just our math lesson today, you may go back and do day one lesson. With the exception, if your little one is really good at manipulating that short A vowel sound, change up the vowel in the middle. So maybe today after you do the numbers, then you can go back and do um, short E words. Start with the word pet. Manipulate that beginning sound. 
to make it say net. You get the point. So manipulate the beginning and ending sounds for short E words. That is extra. It is not required for you all to do, but I know some of you moms and dads are looking for a little bit more. So today's lesson is numbers. If you would like to do extra, go back to day number one and change out that vowel. All right, good work today, you all, and I'll see you for day number three. Bye-bye.